Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Curtin, this is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review and Forex Briefing for Friday the 3rd of March 2023. We had a good day yesterday on the racing, uh, we're on this uh, uh, great Bedouin at uh, Newcastle on the weather at 2.35 which uh, came in nicely at about uh, 7 to 1 on the SP. Uh, we initially uh, got three places on at uh, two pound per eight pound units, that's 200 pounds. Uh, well actually uh, we had uh, a bit more than that, we had two, two, uh, 240 on that, just to, uh, uh, because it was five to six. So that gave us our 200 pounds to play with uh, on the place win bet. Uh, and then initially we put 100 pounds uh, or one pound per eight pound unit on its uh, uh, 7.8, uh, 6.8, sorry, uh, get it right, 6.8 to one. Uh, and uh, and we said the, the other round was uh, a little bit high, so we were going to top it up uh, as they were probably going to go for this uh, first time outer, which was, uh, what was it, uh, uh, through the ages, which came second at 11 to, uh, to 8 favourite. Uh, and then, so we, we managed to top it up uh, to, uh, to two, two pounds per eight pound units, that's another 200. So basically we'd have made a, just a very small loss on on each way uh, if it was placed, uh, and then we and then we added uh, another uh, hundred uh, or pound, depending on which way you view it, to take us up to uh, total stake of five pound forty five hundred and forty for us, uh, three hundred on the win and uh, two forty on the place, uh, uh, which gave us a return of uh, twenty four pounds eighty uh, if you're on the pounds and just shy of two and a half thousand uh, with us. So uh, so it worked out very nicely. Um, we added that final uh, uh, third hundred pounds because it's just a case of, uh, if we were gonna, we were pretty sure, or as sure as you can be, that we were gonna be placed uh, and therefore uh, we'd have only, you know, we'd have lost, uh, what, 40 pounds. Uh, and uh, that's not really uh, worth the effort for us. So, so we, we just pushed it that little bit uh, extra hundred. So we, if, if we'd been placed with a lost 140 with the potential of gaining another well, 860. So it was well worth the risk reward in that respect. Anyway, anyway, so that panned out nicely. Now today, uh, we've got a race of interest. We've done the work, and uh, but, but we're not going to touch it from a betting perspective uh, because the odds uh, are screwed off on it. But uh, but you've got this uh, Doncaster National Hunt 125. It's a novice hurdle, class four, four year old plus two miles, 128 yards. And it comes down to uh, the front two in the betting, really, which is number one, uh, Ballygiri, uh, which is 11 to eight. You can't actually get 11 to eight on it, or we can't. Uh, and this Circus Act, which is uh, slightly odds on, number four. Now, uh, what do we know about, um, if I had the right piece of paper, uh, what do we know about Circus Act? Well. Uh, circus Act uh, won, won a, a Hereford Maiden uh, hurdle, two mile good, and Hereford's uh, rated uh, surface post profile 14.23. Profile now, um, Doncaster's very quick, 13.63, so um, Hereford isn't, isn't a good fit at all uh, for this, um, this Circus Act, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, it was good going so so that's fair enough but but there's a massive difference in in uh, pace profile between Hereford and um, where are we Doncaster so uh, we don't particularly like Circus Act but the one the one that's uh, more more uh, in line is this Ballygiri number one uh, it had a run on uh, two mile one at uh, 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 Sedgefield which has got a, 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 a uh, a more suitable pace profile uh, uh, of um, 14.09, so 14.09 still a fair bit slower, uh, but uh, and that was on soft, and the horse uh, sort of was up with the pace and faded, uh, and then it went to Catterick, uh, two mile three and a half, so two mile four, uh, good, and Catterick's 14, so a very neutral pace profile, so so it's nearer. 14 is a lot nearer than. Um, Hereford, which is uh, 14.23, uh, and uh, that basically uh, Ballygiri uh, is bang on for about a two mile 
two mile distance as well. So, so that's the one uh, uh, of interest, Ballygiri. But the best dodge we can get on it is about, I don't know, what, what can we get? We can get about uh, 11 to 10, uh, 6 to 5. So we're not going to mess about with it on that, but uh, but that's that's the work and that's where we are. So uh, on the forex front, uh, yesterday we had we put in a bounce trade, or a data bounce trade, on the, uh, the pound. Uh, uh, so the pound uh, dollar, um, we uh, we put in a, a sell order. If I could write uh, just prior to these this tier two data coming out at uh, thirteen thirty. If you want to look at the chart. Uh, the 10 minute chart. Um, so about a 30 seconds, a minute before uh, we put in an order within about uh, five points, uh, five pips of the market. Uh, the data came in uh, and basically what was happening uh, was the uh, the dollar, uh, the pound dollar had been sold off and then it had come back a bit. Uh, uh, and, and then the, uh, so, we, so we basically put a sell order in just below that uh, and this was at 13.30 or 29. And then you got this bounce down, uh, so the, the, the order was filled. Uh, we made about 13, 14 pips, which is no great, but the good news was we made it in about 45 seconds. So, so that we were in and out, uh, and we just said thank you very much for that. So, uh, so if you want to have a look at that trade, uh, you can. It's just prior to the uh, 1330 uh, tier two US data uh, yesterday, uh, uh, and then uh, and that was that. Now today. On the forex, you've got uh, everybody's raving about the 1500 uh, ISM uh, purchases managing index, so it's inflation uh, uh, tier one, uh, and, and they're expecting the inflation to have eased a little bit. But the central bankers are making noises that they're, they're that it won't off. So, so there's likely a potential for a bounce order uh, on the up on the stronger dollar of just prior to 1500 if you're interested. So. Uh, so that's where we are, and then you've got uh, Fed speakers at six, uh, yeah, sixteen hundred and sixteen forty-five. So four o'clock onwards. Uh, so it's going to be messy. It's a Friday, but uh, there's potential for um, a maybe a positive uh, dollar bounce uh, on better than expected uh, PMIs at three o'clock. So, so that's where we are. Um, very good day yesterday. The account has come right back. We're back up to plus 73.6 units, pretty much a peak for us uh, in one hit. So that, that was very nice, having been uh, uh, stuffed on the last uh, six by six short price favourites. So, uh, so that was good. And uh, if you're a new subscriber, welcome. Uh, and generally for the rest of us, thanks for watching and goodbye.